It's the Jim Fannin Show. We've come to take your mind. Am I still on? Set the man free, damn it. The show notes and the links are below. Welcome aboard. I'm the Jim Fannin Show. Ow, and thank you to G.A. Beatty and crew, part of the Crispy crew that was involved in putting together that uh, show intro. Both those show intros were done by Jay Beatty. Thank you very much. I am Jim Fannin. Today we're going to hit the Kyle Rittenhouse trial and media manipulation. As you can see here, we're going to go through some fake news and propagating the propagation of false narratives, mainly by the left. And today, the links are below. In the show description, you can find all the links so you can follow along. Welcome aboard. Let's do this. First of all, credit where credit is due. Crowder is mastered. Go to Louder. Louderwithcrowder.com is his website. He broadcasts on Blaze TV. It's about 10 bucks a month. I highly recommend becoming a Mug Club supporter. Yes, you can get most of his free stuff on YouTube, but not all of it. And the good stuff's behind the paywall. And what I love is his show notes. So some of this information is going to be taken from his show notes page on uh, louderwithcrowder.com. And, uh, man, I got a lot of time for Stephen Crowder. If you haven't heard him yet and you're interested in political commentary and comedy, it's a great show. It's, I think, probably maybe not highly re- rehearsed, but you can see that it's they, you know, they put a lot of planning into this show. So I'm going to take some links and clips that were inspired by Stephen Crowder, Louder with Crowder on Blaze.tv. Also, while I'm pimping other platforms, might I say you should join Censored.tv. The price is about the same. It's 10 bucks American a month. And this is the funniest man on the planet. He interacts really well with his uh, co-host and producer, Ryan Katsu Rivera, which is off on paternity leave now because his wife had a baby congratulations to ryan and your little daughter she's beautiful well done bro finally you found something that you're good at so if you want good entertainment atheism is unstoppable is on this channel uh wayne dupree uh interviews with candace owens and other hot stars Uh, why am i cropped out here let me just get this right so you can see all the shows and I'm just going to give a little bit of love to these guys because, like, look at the shows here. Soph is there. Laura Loomard. Punk Rock Patriot. Uh, Fighting with Larry Barnes. Gary's Mailbag. And there's some great stuff here. A lot of it. And Milo's gone. The CRTV archives are up there. Jacob Wall is strong. Beast Squad's no more anymore. JB Beverly's done. Uh, but Jim Goad is there. Uh, what are we calling it? Hardballs with Jim Goad. Dupree, the Dusty Bogan, Lotus, Rude Britannia. Uh, yeah, Compound Censored is Wednesday at 5 o'clock live. He does that with uh, Anthony Cumia. Um, the Spiel was good, but I think, that, I don't know where they've gone. Wrong Opinion Live isn't too bad. 
atheism is unstoppable is about all you need man the 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 channel is worth the 10 bucks if you only watch this guy i mean gavin is the you know the premier what do we call it the uh marquee obviously but this kid is nails He's hammering it, and if you want to see a conversation with him, I interviewed him about a year ago, and it's a pretty good conversation, uh, despite the fact that the host is kind of weak. So give some love to Gavin McInnes and the crew on Censored.TV. Subscribe today, and I don't have the promo code for you to use, but whatever. Let's get into Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, this probably is not the best place to start, uh, but this is one of the latest uh, little tidbits coming through the wire. I saw this this morning when I got up. Uh, it's uh, from yesterday. And this is what we call the intimidation of um, the jury. Check this out. It was reported to me that by Lieutenant Zerline that uh, this morning, Lieutenant Zerline, that this morning uh, at the pickup, uh, there was someone there and was video recording the jury, which um, the officers approached the person and required him to, him, her, I didn't even ask, to um, delete the video and return the phone to him. Um, I've instructed that if it happens again there to take the phone and bring it here. So that's for your information. Wow. So the jury pool, while loading onto a bus in the morning or something, is being videotaped by an outsider, which only speaks to intimidation. And we're going to get to that. So that's the latest thing I picked up on. Uh, but we got a lot to talk about here. It'll be a fast moving show. Watch George Floyd's nephew threatens jurors in Rittenhouse case and we saw how the Derek Chavon, uh, Chavon, Ch Chauvin trial went not well it, uh, it, we all knew it was stacked against him I kind of felt like the Kyle Rittenhouse trial would be stacked against him too and that he'd do life for basically defending himself um, but that has turned out to be an incorrect, an incorrect, incorrect assumption on my part because the judge is based. The judge is having none of it, and he talks like he's got. To, I can't do the Fargo accent. Like if I listened to it enough, maybe I could. But he's uh, he seems reasonable, and he's not taking any bullshit. But this was a video done by the nephew of George Floyd threatening the jurors of. The Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Let me see if I can get the play in full. I ain't even gonna name the people that I know that's up in the, in the Kenosha. I mean, in the Kenosha trial. But there's cameras in there. Yep. It's definitely cameras up in there, and there's definitely right. people taking pictures of the juries and everything like that. We know what's going on. So we need the same results, man. We need the same results. Justice for Dante Wright. Justice for Austin. So, well, you can see that this is not very lawful. This is not something that a good citizen does. And I just, like, where do you go from here? Um, like, all out threatening jurors in the Rittenhouse case. And this is this is what intimidated the Chauvin trial. I ain't even going to name the people that I know that's up in the... In the Stop. All right, so I find that mildly interesting and kind of scary. Uh, lying media continues pushing debunked Rittenhouse narrative as it crumbles before their eyes. Okay, listen, w maybe we should start from the top. I, I, I know better. I should, <laughs> I should be able to do this a little smoother. Um, l let's start with some of the charges. What exactly has Rittenhouse been charged with? Let's do that first. Okay, here we are. The charges against Kyle Rittenhouse. First degree reckless homicide, use of a deadly weapon. Joseph Rosenbaum. Two, first degree, recklessly endangering safety, use of a deadly weapon. Richard McGinnis, reporter for Daily Caller, not injured, but near Rosen, Rosenbaum when Rittenhouse fired. Three, first degree, recklessly endangering safety, use of a deadly weapon, unknown male. First degree, four, first degree international homicide, 
use of a daily weapon, Anthony Huber. Five, attempt first degree intent international, intentional homicide, use of a t- <laughs> What the fuck am I reading international? Intentional homicide, fuck, put my glasses on. Use of a deadly weapon, gauge, however you say that. Six, possession of a dangerous weapon by a person under the age of 18. And seven, fail to comply with order of local government, emergency management activity. (laughs) This is what Kyle Rittenhouse faces, and I suggest he's innocent of all of them, and I mean all of them. All right, so here we go. First of all, this, this... thing should have never made it to trial i don't know what's going on in the states i guess i mean if someone is shot and killed i guess you expect that something's going to happen but this just i don't know why this is even in court this is a pure case of self-defense and the prosecution as we'll talk about as it rolls here is making the case for the defense and i mean (laughs) i don't Anyone with a half-objective mind can see what's going on here, and uh, what a waste of time and resources. So, again, the links are in the show description below, and they should be in order. Lying media continues pushing debunked Rittenhouse narrative as it crumbles before their eyes. Uh, This is from the Post Millennial, and you can see that some media outlets like NBC are calling this a homicide trial. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's accurate. They're calling the people that were attacking Kyle Rittenhouse as the victims. <laughs> Weird. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to get into the Young Turks bulk crap. But anyways, the link is in the show description. And these are some of the false narratives being reported Tom Elliott is a radical lefty <sighs> why do reporting when we already know Rittenhouse is an at- is a terrorist let's see oh this is young Turks Two people by the way Rittenhouse is basically what you would have had in a school Kenosha shooter Kyle Rittenhouse he murdered two people by the way he, see you can't s- <laughs> he didn't murder anyone He's on trial for murder, by the way. You're not a murderer until you're convicted of the crime of murder. Yes, he shot and killed a couple guys after being under attack. And a gun pointed at his head. Uh, Like, see, when you pull a guy, when you pull a skateboard out and try and hit a guy with it, or you pull a knife on a guy that's got a gun, or better yet, you pull a gun on an armed man, you've forfeited your right to live. And if you live through that, consider yourself a lucky man. Rittenhouse is basically what you would have had in a school shooter. He's a 17-year-old kid. He shouldn't have had a gun. He crossed state lines to support... I haven't watched these false narratives being perpetuated on MSNBC, but... Tell me again how Kyle Rittenhouse can be properly compared to a school shooter. Like, you're really stretching it there, bro. Supposedly protect property? No, he was going out to shoot people. Kyle Rittenhouse, these... He was going, he was going out to shoot people? He was there to protect property. Exactly. Yes. He's at his friend's shop. They were defending it from Antifa. And then he was seen offering medical services to people in the field. So, yeah. They didn't go there just to shoot somebody. (laughs) Some of them did, but most of those guys that are on the radical left. 17-year-old vigilante. Kyle Ritt. Vigilante? Vigilante. When has this kid ever been a vigilante? (laughs) Wow. This is... This is shocking and not surprising. Rittenhouse, the vigilante. Kyle Rittenhouse, the armed teenage vigilante. And Joy Reid is the biggest race-baiting bitch ever on media. How she has a job is beyond me. I have no idea how she stays employed. 17-year-old vigilante, arguably a domestic terrorist. Domestic terrorist and vigilante. These... 
these guys just don't quit. Picked up a rifle, drove to a different state to shoot people. Call right now. He drove to a different state to shoot people. And, and here's the big brown cow. The big fat brown cow? I don't know. Chink Uger. Hey, Chink. I know what you're going to say, Chink. House. <laughs> a guy who's deeply racist went with weapons to... Deeply racist. Show me one instance of Kyle Rittenhouse being deeply racist, you big brown buffalo. Black Lives Matter protest. Looking to get in trouble. He did. He murdered a couple of people. Murdered. Looking to get in trouble. Murdered. See, murdered is murder. Murderers are reserved for convicted murderers. Murder is a charge that needs to be proven in court. And this kid's innocent. Rittenhouse. Uh these two, Scarborough and what's her face? They're married, right? What a tag team on MSNBC they've got there. Uh, the 17 year old kid just running around, shooting and killing protesters. You see the shooting and killing protesters. No, he was being chased. <laughs> they were throwing Molotov cocktails at him, they were trying to hit him with a skateboard truck. They pulled a gun on him. That's how you get yourself dead, by attacking a guy like that, that's armed. 17-year-old who was radicalized by Trumpism. Radicalized by Trumpism? The, the, Trump's been gone for over a year. Why are we still talking about Trump? Trump doesn't radicalize people. Like, grow the fuck up, man. It's, they just don't have anything but the lies. That's all they have over and over and over. Took his AR-15 to Kenosha and became a killer. A white, Trump-supporting, MAGA-loving, uh, Blue Lives Matter, social media. Who said that MAGA-loving, Trump-supporting, Blue Lives Matter supporter was a racist terrorist? And who, who said that this kid even supported Trump? Has he ever come out and supported Trump? I've never seen anything like it. A, a, a partisan, 17 years old, picks up a gun drives from one state to another with the intent to shoot people. See, this is just slander, libel. He drove there with the intent, the intent to shoot people. Just fucking grow up, man. 17-year-old boy mm. who drove across state lines. State lines. The dude lived in the other state. There's no state line. There's no border you have to cross. Drove across a state line. Shut up. With an AR-15 and started uh, shooting people up. Yeah, he just drove across the state line with an AR-15 and started shooting people up. Look at him looking down at his teleprompter. He can't even carry on a conversation without reading. Including a guy with a skateboard. Kyle Rittenhouse, who has killed protesters, unarmed protesters. Rittenhouse, a 17-year-old that went with a weapon into the middle of uh, protests uh, and then provoked people. Riots. Provoke people. Oh, he, oh, Kyle Rittenhouse was provoking people. You big, fat, brown buffalo, you're an idiot. People and then shot him, killed him. Kyle Rittenhouse is the enemy. A boy from out of state drives up to the state with an AR-15 around his neck, I mean, shoots right there. and kills. Yeah. I mean, stop right there. Shut up, Mishka, whatever your fucking name is. A couple of people uh, shooting wildly, running around, uh, acting like uh, rent -a -cop. Drove across state lines. Acting like rent -a -cop. You know what? You're rent-a-journalist, rent-a-host. Lines armed with a... That was a really good comeback, I know. Rifle to go and shoot people. What a dark... Uh, the dystopian scene where a yeah, here's the dystopian scene they're getting chased down by radical lefty antifa <sighs> throwing molotov cocktails at you in the middle of a riot it's not protest they're rioting 17 year old boy is carrying around a rifle running around and and gunning down protesters Running around and gunning down protests. Oh, yeah, he's just running around shooting people indiscriminately. What? And here's Joy Reid. Joy Ann. 
pro-democracy read, remember the helpers, the two men killed at the Jacob Blake protests have been identified by authorities as Joseph Rosenbaum, a five-time convicted pedophile, and Anthony Huber. These brave young men tried to stop the gunman before he shot them. Rest in peace. And this is a pedophile. This is a child rapist. The mainstream media won't tell you that. Five-time convicted of raping underage boys in the ass. <laughs> and multiple other charges. Fuck me. It's ugly. It's ugly. Yeah, that's Rosenbaum right there. He's dead. And um, n not too late, I guess. Too soon? The, you can spot a pedophile a mile away. There's one on the left. Five-time convicted pedophile. Uh, let's see if the media will talk about that. No, probably not. <sighs> the um, completely bald and Anna Presley, a 17-year-old white supremacist, domestic terrorist, drove across state lines. Enough with the state line shit already. Armed with an AR-15, he shot and killed two people who assembled to affirm the value, dignity, and worth of black lives. Fix your damn headlines. Oh, fix your face and your head and your Twitter account. Delete it. Horrible, horrible mess. And here we have Ilhan Omar. A domestic terrorist executed two people, and according to Tucker and his supporters, this is maintaining order, quote, unquote. Their murderous rants have, have inspired many mass shooters, and now they aren't even trying to distance themselves from it. They are excusing it. God help us. And a tweet dated, I don't know, where is this dated? August 27th, 2020. And then there's a clip of Tucker there, which I'm not really all that much interested in. But God help us. You know... I try to be a good Christian man. I know it doesn't seem like it when I come out here because I rant and rave about things that I'm passionate about and that really get under my skin. And it's because I love man so much that I'm out here doing it, trying to bring some facts that you might not be seeing in the mainstream media. So, yes, God help us. I'm struggling to find a way where I can be a better Christian out here and still bring awareness to the issues. Uh, We'll see how that goes. And Daily Recall, the Daily Recaller, the Daily Caller reports, report FBI lost HD written house video, never told the defense it existed. Listen, uh, who trusts the FBI anymore? The FBI had drones over Kenosha and they lost the video, they, they lost the video. Unseen footage taken by the FBI the night of the shootings in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, I guess I said it right, Wisconsin, surfaced on Tuesday during day one of Kyle Rittenhouse's trial. According to Jack Posovic of Human Events, the FBI allegedly had HD version of the video but never told the Rittenhouse defense it existed. And there we have it. chased, followed, Rittenhouse asking if anybody needs medical. Uh, Narrated by the guy shooting the film, there's Rosenbaum, the pedophile, five-time convicted pedophile. Convicted of raping, anally raping an uh, underage boy. It's Rittenhouse. Here's the FBI drone footage. Look at that place. It's an absolute war zone. He's chased for 155 meters before he shoots the first assailant. I refuse to call them victims. 
Kyle Rittenhouse is a victim here. There they come. They see at the top left corner. And then the chase is on. And you'll see here, I'm sorry, I had it cut incorrectly, so you're not seeing me. Here we go. I'll play it again for you one more time. Written house. Oh, now you can see the, the lyrics. You can see the text that's being copied at the bottom of the video. Written house asking if anyone needs the medical. What a nightmare. Corey Elijah is the shooter of this video. And this is where you start measuring the 155 feet that they chased him. Wow. Look at this. Rittenhouse comes from out behind the vehicles. Engages. Starts chasing. And you can see the text below. Somebody shoots a shot into the air. The guy goes to grab Rittenhouse's gun. He turns and fires and kills him. Dude, I, I, like, this is heart wrenching to believe that this is how America looks these days. Um, sad, but it's important to get it out and, uh, a lot of this stuff is coming to light now. Exclusive S FBI testified in private that there is a second version of the surveillance tape in HD that did not provide the def that it did not provide the defense per courtroom member. The defense has requested a copy of the HD tape. The a <laughs> the FBI responded the HD tape no longer exists. What the fuck, man? This is is this real life? And here's some more footage from the FBI straight from the trial. Showing the same thing, basically. Why did they have drones over Kenosha that night, I wonder? That's where he gets shot. Somebody was operating that camera. This is after Rittenhouse shoots the first guy. He's actually running to surrender to police. You shot somebody? Who shot? Who shot? Hey, stop him! And we also see footage of Rittenhouse walking with his gun slung around him, arms in the air, with the armored vehicles coming in with police. And them telling him to get out of the street. There's an injured, uh, he gave notice that someone had been shot, that he shot someone. And he was trying to give himself up. And uh, this is purely frightening. This is where we're living in today's day and age. <sighs> this is from Gage. He was, um, Broadcasting live. Wow. Amazing. Uh, the links are down below. So you can follow along with it if you like. And this will probably shock no one. But Antaramine is the Kenosha mayor. His name's John. <coughs> and he let his city burn. So John Terramine, at Atera Mian, and Terramian. I don't know. John is the mayor 
who let Kenosha burn. Edward R. and Teramine is the city attorney for Kenosha. And get this, Ben Teramine is the lead detective. Do you think that there's any motive for conviction to cover the tracks of an inadequate policy that led to rioting and murder and deaths in the street of their city? Here he is here showing the A, AR-57, uh, AR-14. I don't know, whatever the fuck it is. It's a gun. <sighs> the links are in the show description before. Here's John. And here's his Wikipedia page. Lead detective in Rittenhouse case has family ties to five Democrat politicians, including the mayor of Kenosha, his uncle. <laughs> Do you think this is actually a joke? It's not a joke. One of the lead detectives in the Kyle Rittenhouse case has close family ties with the mayor of Kenosha and other Democrat politicians. Detective Benjamin Terramin is the nephew of Kenosha Mayor John Terramin and who was elected to another four-year term in 2020. Terramin, a Democrat, first served as mayor from 1992 to 2008 and was again elected in 2020. Although his family relationship with Mayor Detective Benjamin Terramin I don't know how to say the name. As several other family members, including in government positions, the mayor's cousin, <coughs> excuse me, is Kenosha City Attorney Ed and his nephew, <laughs> City Judge Mike Easton. <laughs> and his other nephew is Tip McGuire, state representative, and his other cousin is, um, is Laura Belsky, Democrat. County Board Supervisor. Uh, anything incestuous about this? No, there's nothing to see here. Look away. There he is. There's the lead city attorney, Edward R. on terrorist and terrorist. I mean, a terror and terramian and terramian and terramian. I don't know. There he is. It's right there on the City Kenosha website. It's for real, dudes. <sighs> wow. I'm not sure what that is. Crowder covered this. And I don't know if it's the first place I heard of it. More, more than likely it is. Crowder does a nice, nice job. And actually, I should get out of here because he's on right now live. And I love catching his shows. So here he shows the family tree. This is Joseph Rosenbaum. <coughs> In addition to being a convicted child rapist, Rosenbaum is apparently also mentally ill and a racist. Uh, the day that he was shot and killed by Rittenhouse after attempting to attack the kid, he was released from the hospital after a suicide attempt. Mm, be careful. Be careful what you death wish for. Bye bye, pedo. Rosenbaum was also a racist, shelling, shelling, yelling, shoot me, enter. Now I say enter because, well, I don't feel comfortable saying it out here. I guess. You should be able to say the word when you're talking about somebody else saying it, but shoot me, enter, shoot me, enter, shoot me, enter. They, like, this is a five-time convicted serial pedophile and child rapist, Joseph Rosenbaum. Listen to him here. <laughs> now... There's black people standing right there, but nobody's getting offended by him dropping N-bombs all over the place. Tell him, buddy, to 
shoot me enter the guy the guy he's talking to is not even black from what i can tell not mentally stable here he is and he's a five foot five he's like the shortest man ever he's complaining about somebody pointing a gun at him Look at homie with the afro, just filming away. That's so disturbing. All of this is so disturbing. I'm sorry, um, I watched it, so you're gonna have to watch it too. So, we're playing that game. Uh, the links are below, we saw this already. Rittenhouse, uh, shoot me. Now, let's see, see, Yahoo News picks it up, shoot me. I don't think they, s oh, they did put it in quotes here. Shoot me. N. Dot, 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 dot. Rosenbaum was 36, seen on the right-hand side of this footage, approaching armed men standing to the left of the frame. He was la later shot in the head and died, according to Kenosha Police Department. The second victim, blah, 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 Anthony Huber, also fatally shot. Was he the guy with the, the, the skateboard? Yeah, well, dude, when you assault an armed man with a, anything but a, a skateboard and you try and hit him in the head with it, you lose your right to life. Yeah, you cannot, because self-defense is I can defend myself. Uh, here we go, more footage of that. We don't need to see that. We've seen it already. Um, oh, are we getting into some of the fake news here? Things Joseph Rosenbaum... Rosenbaum, yeah, allegedly said and did on the night he was shot. I'm not going to go through it all, but the links are below. And he was not a good human being. And I don't w wish death on anyone, but the fucking guy was a scumbag. This is the drone video of the state go, go a hold. What? This is drone video the state go a hold of. Friday. All right. Whatever. It shows Kyle Rittenhouse shoot Joseph Rosenbaum. It's the clearest, steadiest, vi steadiest video of the shooting. Jury watched multiple versions, including one that was cropped, zoomed, and slowed down by the crime lab. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you see him running after him. He's going for the gun, and he gets shot. Plain and simple. And then the guy circles back and tries to give him medical. Boom. You see the puff of smoke coming up. Damn. I don't know, man. This is all very disturbing. But this kid's got to get off. Because he was the victim. Yeah, other people died. But don't confront a man with a gun. Kyle Rittenhouse initiated confrontation with first man he fatally shot at Kenosha. Protest, prosecutor argues. Now... See, CBC is a dick sucker for the federal government. It sucks the federal government's dick for money. It's a prostitute, basically. Yeah. Sad, but true. Oh, that's true. Why can't I recrop this? Where's my other display? Here we go. Let me see if I can get CBC in here. Uh, working on the fly here, kids. Uh, the show's mostly live. Today we got a few jump cuts. Um, this is a, uh, I'm gonna use this as a, an application <laughs> for a job on Gavin McInnes's censor.tv. I'm sure he's not watching it, but this is an example of the content that I will provide on a regular basis for my boy Gavin if he decides to give me a, a job. Kyle Rittenhouse initiated confrontation with first man he fatally shot at Kenosha protest. It's a riot, first of all, and he didn't initiate confrontation. He was there removing graffiti. He was there in the streets defending his buddy's store. He was there in the streets armed with a medical kit offering to give medical assistance to anyone, black, white, or otherwise, left, right, or otherwise. <laughs> the kid was 17 years old. 
He's a fucking hero. And the fake news, like CBC, who's a prostitute for the federal government. Yeah, they suck the federal government's dick for funds. They disgust, they're, they're a disgusting mess. But all the left wing media is reporting on Kyle Rittenhouse and framing him in a bad light. And at the early stages of the trial, judge allows men, uh, judge allows men Kyle Rittenhouse shot to be called rioters and looters, but not victims. Yeah, because the victim is loaded. And just like you can't say that Rittenhouse is a murderer because he hasn't been convicted of murder. Yeah, he shot and killed somebody in self-defense. And the guys that were chasing him and accosting him and trying to kill him were li- rioters and looters. Liars, rioters and looters. They were victims. They are in the game for one purpose and one pers- purpose only, to cause chaos and havoc. So getting close to wrapping it up here. Uh, what, do you, what, what happened? Where, where'd this go? Is there something else? Oh, shit, I lost that link. I'm sure it wasn't anything good. Another link, and uh, this is more footage. Who police identified as Rittenhouse runs across the parking lot of an auto service shop, followed by a shirtless man who was... Followed or being chased? Later identified as Joseph Rosenbaum. Moments later, shots ring out. Did you notice that it was before she said moments later, shots ring out? Somebody shot first. Moments later, shots yeah. ring out. The moments later, you missed you missed the first shot into the air, who was not anybody involved, I don't think, and has not been identified. Somebody shot into the air, and of course, Rittenhouse thought his life was in jeopardy, because it was. Now get this. This is a witness. This is the state's witness, the prosecution's witness. I took this from Ben Shapiro show. You can kind of see him ghosted in the background. Uh, Shapiro's done a nice job, too. Daily Wire? Yeah, Daily Wire is his gig. Uh, Daily Wire. Yeah. Uh, it has most of his content's free, but uh, I'm sure I, I, I've never subscribed to him. I do subscribe to Crowder and to McKinnis, although I canceled my Crowder because I need to, uh, well, because I get most of it free anyway. So, But McKinnis is worth paying for. But this is state's evidence. This is the prosecution right here. Oh, I just lifted it, so there's no description here. Uh, but just let's see what this guy's got to say. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him. No, this is forearm guy. So this is the guy that had his forearm blown up because he came after Rittenhouse while he was already knocked down, after the skateboarder tried to take his head off with the skateboard. And then this guy approaches... Then after he shoots the skateboarder, this guy backs up like, whoa, 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 whoa. He kind of puts his hands up and takes a step back. Rittenhouse drops his gun to the floor, to the ground, points it at the ground, doesn't gr- drop it on the ground. And then this guy comes at him with a pistol aimed at his head. Kyle shoots his arm. And you can see the pistol in his hand afterwards. So this is, I think this is the prosecution questioning this guy. And basically saying, so nothing happened until you pointed the gun at Kyle Rittenhouse. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Well, like, what more evidence do you need? He didn't do anything until I pointed a gun at him. Correct. Like... It's, it's madness. It's madness that we're still having this conversation. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> I don't think I have that video loaded of Rittenhouse dropping his weapon, basically. But you can see it all, all over the place. Find it yourself. Also, um, they had a warrant for Gage's cell phone. Gage had the shooting. He was right there. He was recording it the whole time. And guess who didn't serve the warrant? They got a search warrant for his phone, and then they didn't serve it. These incestuous connected family members in Kenosha. There's a law, he quoted Marcy's law, that says, you know, basically, you cannot be demanded 
to give personal information if you're the victim. Like, if you're the victim of a crime, they can't say, well, we want to see everything on your phone. I think it's Marcy's Law. Links in the description below. (sighs) There's the warrant. They never served it. Why would the FBI not want to have Gage's phone content? He was right there. Kenosha police didn't record Ryder Gage's interview. Failed to search his phone despite having warrant. They didn't record his interview. What the? Like, is this real life? Anyway, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse should get off. And uh, that's my back drop. You should do, you should uh, get out and join Crowder. If not, watch them on YouTube or Rumble. And you should join these guys right here. Censored.tv. Gavin McInnes is the funniest man on the planet. He's a traditional Christian that stands for family values and has some of the most biting political commentary in the business. I highly recommend that you get on board with Censored.tv. Peace, love, hug your neighbor, and whatever you do, for crying out loud, Take that mask off your beautiful face. I am out.